Quick, uh, so. Richard T's Rising Tide, take one. song actually for um, I've been doing a lot with the Costa Del Mar sunglasses and I wrote the song for them and we're hopefully this year it should be uh, it's actually they're gonna try to use it on a, cam a campaign that they have called One Coast uh, which uh, will help um, the fishing communities who are impacted by mm -hmm. the, the severe weather and the hurricanes oh yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So, so raising funds yeah fundraising. yeah so uh, I Oh, we're working on it, but ideally they'll put it on the website, and I'll just donate the song, and you can download it for a dollar donation, kind of thing. So very cool. So they'll use that. Where, we, what can people go to? 
Uh, so it's not it's not ready yet, not ready but yet. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, but definitely follow me, and I'll keep you up to date on it for sure. Yeah. So I choose Blackbird because it was um, basically the reason why I started playing guitar when I first um, when I first heard it, and uh, I said, "Man, I would really love to be able to play that." You know, that that to me was. Uh, the reason I was basically wanted to learn to play that song. That's why I wanted to play guitar. So that was actually the whole start of the guitar uh, journey for me. So I thought it would be a good, yeah, I thought it'd be a good fitting one for the show. Song good night. My passion is equal to the outdoors as it is to my music, for sure. Um, as far as songwriting, um, usually I'm inspired by an event or an idea, and then I see it all connected, you know, as humans and nature, so I just tie that into my song, and yeah, so without a doubt. I mean, I, I, I uh, observe, I'm, I, I constantly observe nature and try to take the good out of it, just like, a, and use that as part of the day, you know? Yeah. Yeah.
drank like a fish, you laugh like a world. You better hold on to watching you from my bed. So don't you talk to me, baby, and wig your double tongue. You think you're pretty cool, make me fun of everyone. My family basically. Um, uh, my father was a. Uh, he there was actually he was a part of a family band. So they were like, uh, kind of like the Native American Partridge family in the '60s, and uh, they toured and, and they had all kinds of groups. And uh, my father passed away, and they kind of all kind of broke up as a, and did solo stuff and uh, so many levels of, of music in the family, is, and they're all still playing. Most of them are still playing. Um, so, you know, as I was growing up, I kind of just didn't even really think about it. I just, I just knew I wanted to kind of take off where my dad left off, you know. So that, that was the whole plan, and uh, I've been doing this full time for 21 years, so.
I mean, when I first started playing, I was acoustic, and I was actually just, you know, I was playing in Florida, and I was playing, like, cover songs for basically people on vacation, so I had, like, a, you know, I just, I fell in, I fell in suit, I got a little drum machine, um, I was, like, just playing, you know, island music, and it was great and everything, but it just didn't feed my soul, you know, so, um, I started playing the bass, which was actually inspired by my uncle. My uncle plays the bass. He started this. He's like, you know what? You grew up as a dancer. Your mother's a dance teacher. You should start playing this thing. So I started playing this, bass pedals, and I just absolutely fell in love with how I can incorporate, like, and keep my mind busy with playing the guitar. And it was authentic, you know? What's it, incredibly it looks incredibly difficult what you're doing. Because you're also an incredible entertainer. So, like, you're playing the pedals and you're soloing. You know, it's, well, of course, when you're soloing, yeah. you have that on a loop. No, no, I don't. Really? There's no loop. No. So if I solo, you know. So, you're, so how long? How long did it take you to get that coordination? So I mean, at this point, it's second nature. But I literally started. It took me like a couple weeks to even just break it out, and I was just basically doing the one. You know, like, like just practicing, connecting the guitar with the bass with my feet. So you know. Like, so like any feel now I can kind of create with the pedals, you know, if, 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 if I learn a song at home, I'll learn it, you know, learn the chords, because I don't think of playing the bass anymore, I just come out and you know, that, and this is like all part of the Sick whole thing now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a lot of fun and uh, that's how, and then the, you know, everybody started looping and I thought that was, hey, I can get rid of this drum machine now, I got, so I can get throw that in the garbage. And then at least it's kind of authentic, you know, I'm creating the beats on the guitar, and I can create my own energy, and I can change it every night, and I don't have to do the same feel, and uh, create different styles of music, you know, so I could, I could do a reggae song, or I could just do like whatever I want, something. Then it's just, it's, it's great to be able to have these canvases to work with, to get the sound going. So, I'll loop a beat, and then I keep the basses all real time, and the guitars all real time. Gotcha. And uh, that never really changes. And then uh, sometimes I'll loop a chord progression so I can solo over it, and that's the extent of it. So I try not to be like the looper, you know what I mean? I just want to have this as like a one-man thing. Gotcha. Very cool.
off your mind Let it be light Yeah, yeah, So this one's a special one. I wrote this one for my grandfather, who was um, my biggest influence in my life. He was, uh, he was my role model, uh, my rock, and uh, uh, he took me fishing, he got me into the outdoors. He, he, really, he really was an amazing man. Um, so this was a song I wrote for him, and actually uh, uh, I took it upon myself and I wanted to perform it for his uh, funeral at his services. So. That was the hardest gig I've ever had to do, but I'm really glad I did because he 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 you know he was the man to me. So mm -hmm. this one was called Fly Eagle Fly. He absolutely uh, he loved eagles, and this kind of tells the story of like who he was as a as a being. So. On the riverside, your heart is pure, your hands are filled bright. Well, I saw you there, the mountainside, you had a bite. Your arms were open wide, so fly. So love will never die. Our love will never die. Will you plant the seed, watch the flowers grow. So beautiful now, more than you'll ever know. Will they held your hand. Where the eagle flies, you sing your song. Oh. 